when we were riding the bus between Kandahar and here Kabul, uh, somebody on the bus told us that Kyunki Saswi Kavi Bahuti, a soap opera that used to run in India for a long time. I don't know if it still plays. It's extremely yeah. popular here in Afghanistan. I remember my mother was watching it when I was growing up. And uh, I was also watching. You were also watching? Yeah, my mother sat me down okay. and watched it. <laughs> but we found a DVD of that here. <laughs> So they have quite a few Bollywood movies and yes. serials. Sarkar, Suhag, Ajit Dogan, Dev Das. Yes. Yeah. Dev Das. Tulsi. Yes. So they all know her by the name of Tulsi. <laughs> I don't know actually. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you should ask your mother. I'm pretty sure she would have watched it. Because I, okay. I raised in the village, we even didn't have the TV. Ah, okay, okay. <laughs> Amitabh Bachchan. Amitabh Bachchan. Yes. <laughs> you watched uh, Shole? Shole? Have Shole, you watched? Yeah, yes. Yeah, Shole. Yeah. Are you pure? I am the Bollywood artist. So just a man. Sunil Shetty, Ajay Devgan. So much song, Karan. Who's your favorite? Uh, my favorite. Sunny Deol. Sunny Deol. Oh, nice. Oh my God. Sunny Deol. I have favorite dealer. Hero la Sunny. Salam. So we've just come into another deeper section of the market and behind me, everything that you see here is all meat, uh, is dried, it's actually sun dried in different ways, they put some salt in some cases, put some other spices, and they just lay it out there to dry and once it's dried it's uh, easier for them to store and move it around because in Afghanistan they don't really have the concept of cold storage. Uh, and that is why they have to manage with traditional methods like this. Mama, this is all dried meat, yes? Meat, meat. They are boiling. Bob, just you shanda me shani. Bob, just khush me shani. It is somehow they boiling the meat. After oh, the boiling they, the meat. Huh? Yes, meat. They dry by uh, salt somehow. They Sun. salt. And they put salt. Yes. Okay. So it could be. It's uh, safe for a long time. Long time. Okay. It is a, a traditional Afghanis culture in rural villages. Okay. I didn't saw them in the city, but right now I saw them in the oh, city also. Nice. <laughs> So this is a wolf, the skin of a wolf. What is this one? It's a wolf. Wolf. Wolf means? What do you They are brought from Panjshir, a uh, popular place of Afghanistan named Panjshir. It's a yes. province. Uh -huh. So I asked him, he said it is brought from Panjshir. Wow. Okay. So yes. okay. Pusti Gurgas Panchir or the King of Wool is around six thousand Afghan, it's around one hundred dollars somehow. But uh, what do people do with it? It is used for some something that clergy give as, as a dual fashion. There's a huge crowd that has gathered and the three of us are just standing right here because we can't handle that. <laughs> because uh yeah. after a little bit of 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 a Today, <laughs> all this is for uh, pets. Interesting birds. You, you could see a interesting birds from every kind of birds, rabbits. Mm. 
This is uh, for eating or for pets? With to eat or for pet? Uh, the robin. So we are right now walking through a section of the bazaar where it's only birds, birds everywhere. There are so many different birds and they also have some rabbits here and there. And can I see parrots here? Oh, eating on corn. You want corn fish? Yeah. I think that's very interesting. So, so Mohammed was just telling us that these birds are actually kept at home as pets. Uh, they're not eaten. It's not for eating or for any sacrifices of any kind, but uh, they're still all caged. So uh, a lot of it is uh, definitely not very pleasant to see, especially when the big birds are trapped inside really small cages. And there are also some rabbits, like here. I had a rabbit. I had a rabbit as a pet once. Doesn't he look like one too? Oh, so busy. Kandar se Anar. Good. Hey. Oh. In Afghanistan, we are seeing Venkateshwara. Venkateshwara Krupa so cool. <laughs> And just like that, we found a Pani Puri stall. Afghani may be Pani Puri, Valate. Either Pani may be Pani Puri, Bolda or Bolta. Bolgapa, ah, cha cha cha. Man, they bring him sort of bold. Oh, sure. Pakoda. Pakoda. And samosa, roll, fries. Oh, that's fry sandwich, right? This one? One? Ooh, the sprinkle spices on top. Whoops. Mm. Super crispy and very nice. Very spicy. Yeah? Yeah. What about the chili sauce, no? How much is it? The small cup? Look at the whole mountain of shampoo. Shampoo mountain. Which is? Bonjour. Cheese bonjour? Chaka. It is local chaka. Chaka. It's, it's like it's paneer. Do. Not like paneer. Mm. Chaka. Its name is chaka. Okay. Oh yeah, that looks a little bit. Like so you come to the shop and take how many pieces you want. You can put it on this plate. They even kept like you know the spicy salsa kind of chaki, and you can have. And you can pay after you finish eating. Hello.
He's rolling it. Mm. So this is how you roll it up and eat? Yes. It's mm -hmm. the way that you can eat. Mm. It's a super spicy. But this has potatoes and some kind of leaves inside it. It's nice. The Sama by the daughter of my aunt. <laughs> So we got invited for tea just now at one of the stores. It's a store selling tea. <laughs> I don't know he's saying Shibra, I don't know oh, what it's like. Oh, he's saying Shibra. No, I don't know what it's like. I don't know what it's like. So that was our first day, that was our first impressions of Kabul and uh, now... I hope you guys enjoyed exploring Kabul with us, it was very, very intense. different. Very intense. So uh, thanks for coming with us and we'll see you in the next one. Bye! Bye.